Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. So today uh, we uh, look at uh, um, our course uh, in chapter one. Okay, the changing view of grammar instruction, and we finish the chapter one. And in the afternoon, we have something to discuss more. Okay, all right. So uh, please uh, watch this video and uh, take notes and uh, have some ideas and in the second session we will have a panel discussions about the points in this uh, videos now let's go so uh okay so look at here all right we look at the uh, communicative based approaches so as the inadequacies of the approaches recognize okay forms and grammars were too much uh, focused this led to the shift away to the uh, ca communicative approach ca okay communicative approach so um, in the old in the traditional approach grammar instruction focuses you know too much on forms and grammar uh, people tend to tend to go for the communicative approach okay right and now fluency is more emphasized than accuracy so now they just focus on fluency as you know that if we look at fluency it means that we just focus on the com communication ability okay not the correctness of the grammars or the forms that is accuracy okay uh, Widow Sun, 1978, mentioned that the CA, everyone's communicative approach, defined the aim of learning as acquiring the communicative ability, okay? Yeah. So, communicative ability was the aim of the uh, CA. This is mentioned by uh, Widow Sun, 1978, okay? Okay, so... Uh, Communicative approaches are focusing on real life communication. Okay. For example, uh, in a strong, in a very strong CA, communicative uh, approach or communicative version, uh, it solely focuses on communication, the real communication, real situation communication, or you say authentic, okay, authenticity, okay, all right, authenticity. So, uh, is linguistic competence the same as communicative competence? The answer is no. We actually uh, talked about this last week, but uh, now look at it again, everyone. So, if you look at linguistic competence, it is the referring to the uh, knowledge of grammar rules and correct use of forms. This is you call linguistic competence. While Communicative competence, uh, this is the knowledge of language use and the ability to use the language. This is uh, mentioned by Himes, 1972, okay? All right. Communicative approach was also influenced by the Council of European for Developing Syllabi. You know, uh, in, in European countries, they actually, uh, at the time, they focus on the ability to communicate that's why they create the syllabus of uh, of communicative approach okay scholars emphasize the importance of studying language use and function in social context though so they actually combine between studying language with the the real use uh, with the real context in the society okay over here uh, acquisition and learning reasons were the influential factors. So um, why? Why they actually shifted to the CA, communicative approach? Because there are some reasons and that is the, the acquisition, acquisition and the learning reasons, okay? Learners should acquire the knowledge unconsciously, unconsciously and implicitly, okay? Unconsciously, like by chance, and uh, implicitly mean indirectly, okay? All right, so learners should learn, should actually know, should actually acquire the knowledge 
uh, without trying, without knowing, you know, without without uh, like um, without trying to actually learn forms, learn rules. They actually learn this in their practice, in their communication. Okay. CA put focus on developing teaching activities that promote their abilities in communicating meaning. This is by Nunan 2004. However, there has been arguments about how much grammar should be focused in the classroom. So um, how much should we actually uh, focus grammar on the classroom because in the classroom, sorry, because uh, anyway, we still need grammar, right? Okay. So weak and strong version of, uh, of CLT. Now we, we look at the weak and the strong version of CLT, okay? Look at here. So a weak version of CLT still focuses on communication, but students learn through a more controlled manner. Like uh, this is not so authentic. Uh, this is uh, quite uh, very, very, uh, you know, um, something they arrange, they like, uh, they control the student to do, okay? Which is not so authentic. A strong version of CLT is learned through the communication, okay? The real life communication. So the strong version of CLT, number one, much more meaning focused learning, yeah? They focus on meaning focus, yeah? Language functions like greeting, requests, apologies, okay, command, yeah, okay? And Number three, process-based and content-based instruction. Yeah, so they look at the process-based learning and also the content-based instruction, okay? And then the task-based instruction. Yeah, this is, this is quite, uh, quite uh, purely, you know, uh, uh, CLT, okay? Yeah, you look at number four, task-based instruction. Well, now, uh, we look at the, uh, inadequacies of uh, communicative based approaches okay so even though uh, they shifted to the ca communicative approach but then uh, there is not enough okay look at here what they say the conceptualization at a later stage did not rule out the focus in on linguistic forms well because uh, they try to actually have ideas and uh, try to actually speak you know uh, through the conceptualizations, but then they, they still focus on forms because when you speak, you need to actually uh, have the right forms, correct? You cannot say, I go to market yesterday, I meet my friend last week, no. You must actually focus on forms, it must be passing for skill forms, okay? Right. There is a need for attention on form in task-based teaching L2, yeah. Even though task-based, instruction is uh, very CLT based, but then uh, in this, you need to actually focus on form. You cannot, uh, you cannot have uh, very wrong grammars in creating the task in, in, you know, in, in using L2, okay? All right. So however, now there seem to be negative reaction among the learner, uh, among the L2 educators who started to believe that Explicit grammar instruction is an obstacle, obstacle for learners' communicative progress. Okay, yeah. So, uh, however, you know, uh, uh, the English professionals still believe that, okay, uh, teaching only grammar so directly is hard for students to actually develop their ability to communicate okay over here so how what can we do here it is a negative reaction to the to the gtm grammar translation methods or uh, teaching grammar uh, deductively okay all right now english professionals agree that both meaning focused learning and grammar focused are needed, okay? Yeah, so that they need to combine, okay? To be combined, yeah. Grammar is actually needed if students want to reach uh, the wanted L2 level accuracy, you know? So if they they want, uh, you know, to reach their wanted uh, 
accuracy of uh, their L2 level, they need to study grammar seriously, okay? Yeah. Long, 1983, said that form-focused learning was so important for language learning in his review of uh, literature, okay? Yeah. So he actually focused on the form focused learning here that uh, that that is a uh, basic for the language learning okay so grammar was so important okay over here what he said furthermore norris and otega added that form focused instruction led to the gain in target structures and this would stay for a uh, quite a long time okay yeah so this these two people actually support the form focus instruction, okay, which is quite a basic for getting the target structures, okay, and this remain quite a long time, okay. Well, look at the recent development, everyone. There is now the evidence for the importance of of uh, form focus instruction, yeah. So now it seems like a uh, like there is another change now. They actually shift uh, focus uh, to the form focus instruction again, okay? However, they must be in the context of communicative teaching. But while you focus on grammar here now, you need to actually uh, do it in the communicative teaching context, okay? Focus on form. Long, 1991, proposed a new term of a new approach as FON F. Yeah, this is FON F. What is it? So he distinguished a focus on, uh, on form, FON F, from a focus on form, FON Fs. One is FON F singular, but one is, is a FON F plural, okay? And a focus on meaning. So now you can see there are three, FON F singular, FON F plural, and one more is a focus on meaning, okay? Yeah. So uh, this is the new one, okay? This is the new one that, that they propose, okay? A new term for the new teaching uh, approach. And this is the old the traditional approach. And still, this is uh, on the communicative base, focus on meaning, communicative base, okay? Right. A focus on form approach is quite deductive. While focus on meaning approach is quite inductive. So you can see the, the old approach, the form Fs plural is quite deductive because you start from forms, from rules, okay? While if you focus on meaning, it is quite inductive, okay? Because students actually learn the grammar in the communication, in the example, okay? On the other hand, form F singular everyone is based on teaching linguistic forms in the meaningful communication okay so this one f is quite learner center so over here uh student uh, I, uh, they refer fun f here to the to the approach that student actually learn learn the grammar in the real meaningful communication in the real context it is quite authentic okay over here so the current current view of FON F, everyone, yeah. Learners can acquire the forms by chance while their attention is on the meanings. Okay, this is mentioned by Long 2000, okay. So over here, uh, the learners actually focus on the meaning, but then they learn the grammar in that meaning, in that, in that context, okay, over here. So, uh, or at least 2001 divided the font F into plan and incidental. Yeah, so now you have plan and you have incidental. Incidental mean by chance, mean not plan. He also argued that plan font F focus on the pre-selected forms. Yeah, so plan font F pre-selected forms, it means they select already, while the incidental involve no pre-selected forms. Yeah, so one is pre-selected, one is not pre-selected, okay, forms, yeah, okay. Okay, now we've, uh, we've looked at uh, 
communicate to approach revisited. Ah, now they come back to CA again, okay? Sawin, 2001, found that, okay, for the development of the communicate to ability, research findings overwhelmingly support the integration of form, focused exercises with meaning focused experiences. So here, the exercise focuses on the grammar, but then the meaning is actually in the social context. So here there is a combination between the forms and the meanings, okay? She pointed out that CLT still regards the importance of grammar and the meaning combination. This is, this is the CLT uh, stance, actually uh, put the importance on both the grammar and the meaning, okay? So many authors stress the importance of grammar focus into meaningful communication, okay? So these people, everyone, these people actually uh, support, you know, support the grammar focus into meaningful communication, okay? Yeah, so grammar and meaning together. Grammar and communication together, okay? Learner, learning grammar skills has been referred to as grammaring. What does it mean, grammaring? This is where learners are about to make use of grammar communicatively in meaningful and appropriate manner. This is you call grammaring. So if you say grammaring, it means it means that you can make use of grammar in a communication uh, atmosphere, in a communicative capacity, okay? Yeah, grammaring, okay. Okay, task-based instruction. Now, everyone, now we look at task-based instruction. It is a purely strong version of, of CLT. It is, uh, it is uh, a learning style, which is uh, quite, strong, okay, quite strong version of CLT, okay. However, there, need, there needs to be both on forms, yeah, grammar and on communication in task-based instruction. This is supported by uh, Skehan, 1996, okay. So if you uh, talk about task-based instruction, you need to actually focus on form and on communication uh, together, okay. So, uh, for L2 task plus uh, base pedagogy, okay, task based pedagogy, task based instruction. This is mentioned by uh, Skehan, 1996, okay. Uh, focus on three things. One is uh, accuracy. What does it mean, accuracy? It's referring to uh, how well the language is produced, okay, accuracy. Correct forms, correct grammar, okay, yeah. Complexity, it's about the elaboration of the language produce. Yeah, you focus more on the, on the structures, on the, on the like uh, how difficult is, uh, is the language. Okay, this is complexity. And also the fluency. Without unplanned natural pausing or hesitation, this is fluency, the smoothness of your communication or your speaking, okay? Of the speed of the speaking, this is fluency. So there are these these are to be considered, you know, in order to balance between forms and communication. So these three things needed to be considered if you want to balance between uh, forms and communication. Okay, these three things. All right. So uh, we look at uh, our conception of uh, font f. Okay, yes. Yeah. So we can see that font f is a teaching method. We focus on, on, on both on forms and on communication in various ways, okay? This is font F, font F singular, everyone, yeah. So still, okay, this uh, new approach, okay? Uh, new method, yeah, sorry, new method, uh, still uh, actually uh, focus on uh, forms and communication in various ways. What are the ways? It can be in deductive, yeah, in deductive uh, form focus, or inductive, yeah, from example to forms here, yeah. Explicitly, uh, directly, and implicitly, indirectly, okay, or in other integrated contexts, yeah. So it can be uh, combined, 
in uh, in the real communication. Okay, over here. Yes. So uh, we we go to the end now. Yeah. Uh, in conclusion. In this chapter, we've actually looked at the changes of teaching grammar over years. So you can see that uh, through uh, the slideshows, through the video presentation, you can see that uh, they have a lot of, uh, there have been a lot of changes in grammar instructions, okay, over years. And finally, we actually talk about font F. This is singular font F, not the plural, which keep the balance between the grammar forms and the communication, okay? Yeah, font F, okay. So uh, you actually have a font F plural. This is the traditional approach. And then we actually uh, have the CA, yeah, communicative approach, which is a meaningful focus. But then this is the new one, the new method, font F, okay, yeah. But still uh, focus both on grammar forms and on communication, okay. All right, so this is uh, the end of uh, this chapter, everyone. Thank you for your paying attention. Hopefully, you actually noted a lot of important points which we will discuss soon, okay? Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you.